Hello, this is Dr. Michael Myers from National University in San Diego. In this short presentation, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to do a cumulative frequency function in Excel. What you see here is actually an output from a student uh, analysis of some data regarding weight in a sample data set. What StatCrunch does for us very easily is it creates the frequency table, and that's just from the Stat tab, and basically you get the uh, the weight column here, the frequency counts, and the relative frequencies as well. To get the cumulative frequencies, which StatCrunch doesn't do, you can easily do them in Excel using the fill down function. So this student has labeled their last row here as cumulative frequency, and you notice with cumulative frequency, we're basically adding up all of the frequencies that we see as we go along in the data set now that it's sorted. So the cumulative here, of course, is 0 .001, which is the relative frequency we see from this first cell. And then to calculate the other one, what we can do is we just write a function in Excel. So we just type in equals D3, so it's going to be equaling this uh, first value here, plus C4, the relative frequency of the next uh, step in the uh, frequency table. Then all we need to do is just copy down, so we could do each one, right? This would be D4, which is the value before, and the cumulative frequency would add on the next frequency value, which is C5. So to quickly do this in Excel, we don't have to do each one, keep typing in the formula. We can just grab or left click on that last cell, and then as we left click, we keep a hold of that left click and we drag down all the way through the data set. So if you hover over the bottom, of the spreadsheet, it'll keep going down and selecting all those that column for you. And this set has about 160 or so frequency counts. And so you click on the last one, hover over it, release the left click button, then we just go to the fill down button. So we click on that, fill down, and it'll copy the formula all the way for us. So we see the la last one here is 0.99999 or about 1 or 100% cumulative frequency. So again we did that just by left clicking on that cell and then it copies down all of the values and so Excel does it very easily for us rather than having to add up all the cumulative frequencies or writing into each cell. So again we're just going to hover over that formula, drag it down all the way through the data set and as we do that, we go to fill down and it will fill in the rest of the values for us.